So, if you've literally been living under a rock for the past 48 hours, it's no surprise that the creator of Dragon Ball, uh, Kira Toriyama, had unfortunately uh, passed away. And I was shocked. I mean, I had got my tears out the night I found out. Um, and it was a complete, like the world froze. You know what I mean? Like Akira Toriyama, you know, is wasn't just a manga artist. He wasn't just, you know, this guy who just made these, car, you know, these Japanese cartoons. Like this man is responsible for a lot of things, you know, that you see in anime now in the industry. Like if you, if without Dragon Ball, you wouldn't have Bleach, you wouldn't have Naruto, you wouldn't have One Piece, you wouldn't have, you know, all of your favorite anime, um, you know coming out right now if it wasn't for dragon ball z because one way or another their designs or their character arcs are inspired by dragon ball or dragon ball z you know of course this man was responsible for doing dragon quest which i never played before or left against dragon quest one of these days and obviously he was doing the character designs for chrono trigger which i actually played a little bit of i never finished the game but i know it's like one of the best jrpgs of all time and i would love to play that game but he's been such responsible for a lot of you know of your beloved um video games and of course your shows as well too so instead of just you know giving you guys like a huge like zone of like this man's like you know life because you can go online and just find out what happened to him um i just wanted to share my fondest memories of you know dragon ball uh the dragon ball franchise as, as a whole i mean i'm going to talk a little bit about chrono trigger really because i had a little bit of that experience with that game but mostly um my experience with dragon ball as a whole um, it's no secret um if you guys have been with me close friends loved ones whatever i am a huge anime fan and the first anime that i ever watched obviously was you know was pokemon and you know this before i didn't even know this was shit that was an anime or whatever but you know um it was either beyblade it was pokemon Yu Gi Oh, uh naruto but mostly dragon ball z i watched the fuck out of especially as a kid it used to come on on toonami uh it used to literally run for marathons on marathons uh, shoot even like a few years back you know it, you know it was kind of going on marathons of like you know re rerunning the movies you know cooler's revenge and you know bro like the super the legendary super saiyan broly like oh my god like i remember like being a kid and you know i had like the windows xp shit and you know um and the windows v visa and shit and you know the, you know i literally used to like watch all like the anime music videos like the lincoln park numb uh music videos of just like all the compilations of like the cell saga the frieza saga the boo saga uh the saiyan saga like hell even like you know stuff from dragon ball and even dragon ball gt which actually I've, i watched a little bit of i know a lot of people don't like gt because actually i don't think uh it's curatory i'm actually had involvement of gt but you know of course it still used the same license and shit you know um i used to just watch that shit every time i would i come back from school I, dragon ball z would literally just be on the screen or you know late nights you know of course you know i was supposed to be in bed you know i would sneak around watch a little bit of dragon ball z here and there or whatever you know watch the movies uh, especially when i was in middle school and you know even when we had to go to church because you know when i was a seven day adventist so like on saturdays i have to go to church on the, in the mornings i would literally it would literally be like the, the Frieza saga or the Namek saga like just showing on my screen all the time and like it just used to be so fun seeing Gohan and Krillin and, and Dende like just, just travel around just trying to find the Dragon Balls while you know they're on a wild goo chase chase with Vegeta like and Doria and you know it was so crazy like just watching that as a kid like the energy like just on the screen when you ever just saw Dragon Ball Z was just frenetic it was just like awe-inspiring it was all it was so like like ah, uh, like you just couldn't like get your eyes glued off of it and you know me and my sister were like huge fans of it as well too like i remember um i actually was starting to get into drawing because like you know i was a very creative kid and i used to actually have like a, a sheet of paper like a trace of paper and i used to literally like draw I like you know like go on you know google or whatever and i would literally like find goku pictures or like gohan pictures and i would literally trace like the character models because i really wanted to learn how to draw like him like his character designs always kind of evoked this kind of adventurous whimsical nature like you always knew when you saw trunks when you saw gohan when you saw piccolo or you saw like the earlier designs of dragon ball you knew something shit was about to happen like his designs and his style was always clean even when they did you know did the android saga like their designs are very unique like you don't really see a lot of like designs especially nowadays you know replicate stuff like that and of course you have anime and stuff like that but that was like this laid the groundwork for it like even you know when we got into like the the newer movies 
the, the character design still, you know, remained fresh. It still remained new. It still remained like, you know, we were just seeing these characters for the first time. And it was just a, a, an awesome experience to just experience that shit as a kid. Like, you couldn't tell me, like, your nephew or your son, your, hell, even your daughter or your nieces did not at least did the Kamehameha at least one time. I don't care how old you were. I don't care if you were 9, 10. I don't care if you were a teenager, shit, even some adults. You did the Kamehameha at least one time. Or, shoot, if you've been on the internet for a long time, you know, you at least went Super Saiyan at least one time. You thought, man, if I, you know, gather my hands up in the, in the sky like when Goku was, you know, fighting Vegeta or Frieza or, you know, even Cell. Well, not even Cell, because uh, he didn't do Spirit Mom with Cell. It was more so with uh, 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 Kid Buu. You put your hands up like, oh, Goku, take my energy. And you know, you, you when Goku turned into a Super Saiyan 3, you yelled like just along with him. And I mean, shoot, you know, you seen Juke Super Saiyan Jalen. I mean, come on now. This man literally like tried to transform on in camera. And like, I, I'm not gonna lie. Like I used to try to do that shit too. Cause like Goku was like a, a father figure to a lot of us. You know what I'm saying? Hell, even Piccolo too. He was the dad that stepped up type shit. And you know, even though Goku is like a very basic character, like by design and hell, even, you know, by personality, um his character arc like i love the fact that he's just like this basic like just one note linear character because like you know when you have a story like dragon ball z where he always comes through to just save the world i mean how complex do you need to make a character like goku like i mean he's strong he has a good you know head on his shoulders he wants to protect his family and his friends you don't really need to make goku like this crazy super like super you know philosophical character like you know he's strong he trains and he's ready to kick it some ass just like he always does and you know just seeing goku on the screen you know when he first touched down the namek oh my god i was like man he about to destroy the ginyu force he about to you know we're gonna take the dragon balls we're gonna wish back all the friends that you know died on on earth when he was fighting you know uh, the saiyans and whatever whatever and just seeing Goku just on screen was just so exciting because you just know shit was just gonna go down and you just know like he was gonna be in there for a good time. There was gonna be a lot of power ups, there was gonna be a lot of trials and tribulations, there was gonna be a lot of like hard times where you think oh our characters are in a pinch and you, you don't think they're gonna win, but you know after a while you you know of course plot comes in and they're gonna like you know show you know uh share uh take the stage take the show and then of course they're gonna you know come out big and grand as ever and you know that's just the shit that i you know you really used to grow up you know watching you know what i'm saying like he taught us never to give up even when goku was just like man like i don't think i'm gonna win type thing like even when against frieza because frieza was always like hyped up to be like this big bad God, like he blew up free, like uh, Vegeta's planet, you know, annihilating the whole Saiyan race, and you know they they propped up Frieza to be like this crazy nigga, like, and you know he did not disappoint, like even by design. I always thought Frieza was a girl. I'm not even gonna lie. Hey, hey, me and you both, all right. I thought he was a girl too, but then after you know I heard him, I was like, oh, oh okay, he like that. Okay, got you. You still felt the, the 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 freaking terror of Frieza, like even when when he got his second form and his third form and even his final form like you could just feel like the evilness his voice his demeanor the way he carried himself like he represents evil and then when goku just came through and just even like trying to like fight frieza it's like oh even like he thinks that he can't win because he's not even fighting him 50% i'm like yo all right bro i don't even think i'm gonna win it makes me feel like yo like what's about to happen and it, it just kind of always like you know kept me on my toes even though you kind of always had a feeling what was going to happen still like no one could have predicted that you know frieza was gonna kill uh piccolo no one was gonna you know not really piccolo just kind of random unconscious but no one was gonna predict that you know frieza killed uh krillin but then when goku like tapped in into this unwielding potential like this this power is seeping inside of him because he was a good hearted kind of type of person he turned into a super saiyan like you know he was just like i'm tired you're not gonna let you get away with this and he just like tilt his head cocked his head back a couple times and you said the fuck the lightning you felt the, the music swelling up you know shout out to bruce faulkner because that was the type of music that i really listened to back in the day man and you really felt the intensity and then when goku just yelled out this this monstrous you roar like that Bro, you just felt like, oh my god, bro, he actually did it. He became the Super Saiyan in Legends. Like, it, it was, man, the Frieza saga, I don't care. It's one of the best sagas of not only just that, like, of Dragon Ball, like, the franchise of Dragon Ball, but just, like, in anime, period. Like, you cannot tell me, you cannot replicate uh, a, a arc that just encapsulizes how, what the Frieza saga was doing. Like, Frieza was literally, like, just hyped up 
from the beginning of the name to, to now it's like even like even before with the Saiyan saga it's like man like it, it was just a ride to just go through man i will never forget like my favorite dragon ball z moments i know i'm hopping around but i'm just going to talk about really about the show a lot is uh when trunk came through for the first time like just seeing him with this you know capsule corporation purple jacket you know he got the boots on and he had that sword and he's just like yo what who is this nigga like why is frieza back like who is this nigga king cole he's just that's his daddy whoa and then you just see this nigga, and he can turn into a Super Saiyan 2. I'm like, oh, nah, it's clipped. And when he was a slicing and dicing, one more, it's like, did, 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 did. and then like he stopped. And then he put the sword right back into his shit. Pew! And oh, everybody fell off. I was like, oh my God, he left the scenes, bro. It's, it's lit. It's actually clipped. And then like when he turned into a Super Saiyan, I was like, oh shit, things about to go down. Like, there's another Super Saiyan. And then like, uh, of course, you know, like when he disappeared, you know, when Frieza was trying to like attack him, he disappeared. And of course, everybody did the the burning attack oh my god and then when he like jumped up and then freaking slashed frieza in half oh my god and then just do 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 like oh man like trunks's introduction in dragon ball z is one of the badasses introductions like in fiction period bro you could not tell me like you did not get any shows on seeing trunks on screen like he just admitted badassery of course you know they probably nuked him a little bit like in super or whatever but still even at that time like you just always felt like there was just like this, 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 like there was like this mystique around this boy like because who, who where did he come from who who is trunks like why why is he here like why who, who how how does he have like you know around the same power as like z fighters you know what i mean so yeah like that was always cool of course um you know uh gohan turning super saiyan 2 like that's my personality trait i related a lot to gohan uh, because he was like the sweet kid that just doesn't like to fight he always got you know and speaking of gohan that's actually one of also another my, one of my favorites uh not only just turning him turning super saiyan 2 but him fighting frieza in the namek saga especially frieza in the second state and he was just like yo like i'm not gonna let you hurt my friends and he just like smacked frieza and just punched him in the stomach punched him in the stomach and he just like kept on throwing barrages of key blasts like i was like oh my god just seeing gohan like at his like his most peak is just it's, it still gives me chills to this day and of course like when he turns super saiyan 2 like it just was so poetic because of this type of person he is he doesn't like to fight like when he always he's a reactionary type of character like where you know goku is more of the action character um gohan is just like you know he wants to just spend time with his dad he just wants to you know chill out. but it's just like he doesn't even want this life that his dad is perpetuating on him so when he gets pinched into a corner where it's like oh the, an the his a answer is anger and then when he sees like you know um even like the people around him like getting hurt he wants to unleash this power he doesn't know how to do it yet andrew 16 just like yo let it go like like i know that you want to you know you don't like fighting but if you're fighting for the right cause, like, you know, there's nothing wrong with being upset at all, da 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 And then, of course, just, you know, so, you know, uh, cell stuffing on his head and then unleashing his power, like, and then the bird, like, obviously symbolizing what, you know, of uh, Android 16, but then also just him as a, you know, uh, going as an individual, he's, like, sweet as a bird. Like, that's like the, you know, the bird that, you know, that got locked out of his cage, you know, that's locked, that not locked in his cage, but, you know, he's, he's, out of his cage and it was just so amazing to just see that on stage and see that on you know screen and just seeing him yell was just so amazing and just obviously swatting off the cell juniors and self fighting off cell was just so amazing the the, the father-son kamehameha man just a beautiful 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 moment um it always gets me emotional all the time when goku is like you know like you know he's he sacrificed himself obviously you know for gohan and you know all with the earth and everybody else and you know just seeing him still talk to gohan even in other world just you know tele telepathically through gohan like yo like i still believe in you like you're the strongest warrior in the universe like you're even stronger than me and it's just like just seeing that father and son dynamic even in the other world this was so beautiful even when you think that the world was about to end Goku still like being a pop, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, oh, now the Goku want to step up. Whatever, whatever. We ain't gonna talk about you know character flaws right now. We just talking about great moments. I always thought that was always an endearing moment. And obviously, you know, we gotta talk about the Goku versus Vegeta fight. I mean, literally one of the best fights of anime. Period. I do not care. The Kaioken versus Kaioken Kamehameha versus you know the Gallic Gun was just amazing. Like the, the fight and like the choreography, like everything, man. About the animation like ahead of his time honestly even the stances like you know the legendary stances with goku and you know stances with, with vegeta like 
it, 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 like you just never like bro like go like you have no idea like dragon ball z is just not just a manga it's not just an anime show like this shit is so like revolutionized like you see battle rappers even rappers you know still like you know dropping anime bars you know it, like because even if you don't watch anime like you know about dragon ball z like hell if my grandmother or even certain people that don't watch anime know who goku is like you literally you like you dropped something very very special because like <laughs> like how does you know people like like just know about the character goku or just, is so familiar with his design um even like you know in pop culture like you see freaking soccer players you know basketball players football players doing the fusion dance or whatever even parades you know of this man goku like on you know on high display whenever you just like you know see him you know um shoot even i think there was like a mexican thing that got seats fired because of like the you know tribute of, of two or Kuri Toriyama um you know he's referenced in you know again like I said sports you know music um he's like Dragon Ball Z is like it's not just a, like it's a pop culture phenomenon like you know all the kids you know just wearing the, the Dragon Ball Z t-shirts you know uh kids wanted to get their hair like go go like Goku you know styling it up you know dyeing it so it could be like a Super Saiyan or whatever like so many other great things man it's just like dragon ball z was really that fucking series that really popularized a lot of shit a lot of shit even like your favorite cartoons like you know kid next kid, uh conan kid next door um i could just name a few uh billy and mandy um damn uh the adventure the amazing world of gumball like there's so many like super saiyan type of references that is laced around pop culture hell even sonic with the seven chaos seminoles him collecting all the to become supersonic like come on now like <laughs> like it's sprinkled around everywhere it's not just with gaming it's not just like i mean it's with gaming as well too but it's just like with everywhere everywhere like this man's influence you could not escape it like at all and i i'm just really blessed to just kind of like be in a space where like dragon ball was really like a, a part of my childhood like just playing the games freaking supersonic warriors 2 one of my favorite ds games of all time and just you know playing it with my friends was always like a great ride raging blast 2 playing it on the ps3 was always a ride as well too like spending hours countless amount of hours in time on that game whenever our friends play through we'd just be like grinding that out playing the story mode trying to unlock characters and you know playing music at the in you know uh, in the background whether it was like you know uh, uh what's it called um lincoln park or even just you know uh, listening to like kanye or like jay-z or like nikki or like you know just like the old school like you know like that time period when it was like really making like their peakest music ever like i will never forget those moments just having raging blast 2 in the background and just coming home from school just re-watching episodes you know whenever i just got into a depressed mood shit pop up dragon ball z i'll re-watch the movies too shit like i would do you know what i'm saying it doesn't matter like broly come on now like everybody like i thought broly all those really dumb of how he got his power because goku cried for years and then he got mad that's why he says kagura uh, okay but like his design the way he was beating the like the the the, the z warriors ass i'm like yo this nigga is crazy like oh man like you can't you can't even lie you can't even lie that shit was fire when I first saw like just the Super Saiyan the legendary Super Saiyan really. Freaking, we gotta talk about Ultra Instinct, man. I mean, shoot, when that shit happened, the music is like that shit is like it's, it was like this series second win or even this third win. If I'm gonna be honest, like God damn, like that design is just so amazing to Goku and just the way he attained it. I didn't really watch a lot about a Super, but just seeing that was super amazing to me and I, I enjoyed every single moment of it uh, even playing like dragon ball xenoverse as well too I, I used to play a lot of dragon ball xenoverse like back in like high school and just you know the you know scrolling through the character menus like listening to the music and you know seeing all like you know the references from like uh, you know there's the characters from the Saiyan saga to the all the way to boo saga and you know even gt like with omega shenron it was just always like a sight to see all these characters like all in one bunch like even fighters i love fighters so much i mean i played a lot of it you know back in like you know back when i was like in college and shit is it, it, you know fighters is such a fun game 2d game I, you know that we haven't gotten since like budokai Ten, tenkaichi i mean we've had other like 2d 
you know uh dragon ball z games but like not like fighters i feel like fighters has its own flair has its own energy to it that i really really enjoyed and you know speaking of bill kai tenkaichi come on now like though that game is one of the goatest like anime did fighting games period and the fact that we're getting a new like you know budokai tenkaichi game very soon is like really really exciting like um and i'm i just can't wait to like you know see the, the future of like dragon ball z fighting games and of course you know we got to talk about future uh super you know i really enjoyed you know uh seeing a couple of like you know the the, the movies you know a uh, resurrection f or you know the battle of gods you know when goku's like ah, i will never let you destroy my world and just seeing him scream like that like was just super awesome to me um goddamn uh just freaking like him fighting beerus of course goku going super saiyan god 2 going against golden freezer was really awesome uh black goku like when he went super saiyan rose was awesome as well too just uh so many great moments man from super of course not my favorite out of like you know the um out of the the franchise but i really did enjoy the series i think it had a lot of good moments you know just you know i would say you know i wish it was a little more consistent of course you know you had like the tournament arc or whatever but you know either way i think you know the super was still a pretty good and decent watch if they were going to revitalize you know the series in some way but how i grew up with dragon ball z of course not only just tsunami and cartoon network but it was also dragon ball z kai and i love kai so much I mean, that was the way to see Dragon Ball Z at the time. And that, and also Team Four Star. Like, I freaking love Team Four Star so much. The parodies that they would make uh, when I was like, you know, 10, 11, 12 years old. I remember literally when they were like wrapping up the Frieza arc. Like, that shit was awesome. And shoot, a lot of people, when they actually, you know, they watched some people, you know, first introduction to Dragon Ball Z was Team Four Star. So it's just like, they made my childhood because like, I watched the series so much. It was like, man, I knew these characters and just how they kind of turned you know made their spin around the characters and like the overall story and like the jokes about the muffin button and making goku like so dense but like so funny at the same time making gohan like this smart ass and you know making krillin like of course you know it, it was just like a nice little turn of like how they you know uh how they view the characters and like you know you, you always saw them you always like oh man I, i'm always gonna be in for like a great time and uh like i love team four stuff same thing was you know uh, uh uh even like i said the the battle raps there's so many like you know battle raps with like you know um with goku and like vegeta and like you know all these uh little like uh makeup matches um uh, i can't remember what the matches are called but you know you have like goku versus like naruto or you know, this that this character versus that character like you know just making up all these characters like you know these uh these made up battles and just seeing like which you know anime character would win against this anime character all the discussions of like oh like who's stronger goku or regina da, 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 da. like just the anime discussions i would have in high school and middle school would always be memorable to me and um you know even this uh rdc world one just you know all the the skits that they did centered or like you know around dragon ball z whether it was like a four minute when they did the burning uh, attack or turning super saiyan or whatever like just dragon ball z is just such an amazing series you know it's obviously it's the godfather of all anime again you wouldn't have your favorite favorites right now if it wasn't for akira toriyama's design his story the way he wrote his stories the way he wrote his characters the designs the music orchestrated the 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 overall animation the just excitement that you always just saw when you were seeing goku versus vegeta or frieza or cell or even you know majin buu like even you know when the series has its low points you know you always you know grew up in some form of dragon ball z i don't care if it was the original dragon ball or z or gt or super or whatever you know game that got you into it or even what like even if it was the soundtrack or even if it was like a rap battle or even like a, a stupid like you know uh, who was gonna win type of battle like those type of youtube videos or even like a, a, a anime music video you know dragon ball z was everywhere and you could not escape its uh you know influence and i'm just really happy to have you know grown up with the series and you know being 24 you know i can probably say that you know this series saved my life you know what i mean i mean uh if it was you know i i even like rewatch you know dragon ball z kai every now and then and you know i always like you know tune back to the the, the soundtrack i love uh, android 16 soundtrack i love like when vegeta went to super saiyan for the first time because he was struggling for the longest and i think vegeta is one of my favorite characters you know of anime period you know like he was just struggling so much like internally with him you know settling 
down having a kid and having you know a wife and you know he didn't really know how to settle into the earthworm and then even his sacrifice oh my god dude how can i forget his sacrifice easily one of the best moments of dragon ball z period like i feel like the boo saga was just for vegeta like period um and just you know it's Goku start fighting you know kid boo and just you know having like that final uh spirit bomb was just a sight to see was always a sight to see so uh just to conclude because i'm kind of going all over the place dragon ball z and just dragon ball in general will always have a special place in a lot of you know uh a lot of people's hearts especially black kids who look like me especially a lot of just people who just you know never really had anybody around um even if you, you were in a really bad place in life or you was in a really great place in life you know dragon ball z always you know left you happy at the end and always left you motivated to just you know do something with your life and to just never you know give into the societal pressures and norms like it was always like a an escape from like just the harsh realities of, of the world and you know if you just turn on Toonami if you turn on Cartoon Network or you turn on whatever like it just escapes your mind for a little bit you get to wander you just to have your your imagination run wild and you go you gotta thank Akari Toriyama for paving the way for a lot of Marvel artists and a lot of Japanese animators and just a lot of you know storytellers and in, 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 in general as well too his presence will always be on this earth and you know although we are really sad that he is gone because he had a lot of projects and stuff that he was working while he was alive i couldn't be any more happy that he left uh such a wonderful series such as dragon ball onto this earth and of course you know uh you know Tr chrono trigger as well too which i'm gonna talk again was definitely going get into that i played a little bit of chrono trigger and like i could tell like there was a lot of heart that got on, went into that game and i wish i finished it but you know the man had such a wonderful vision for animation and i don't think it could really be unrivaled so to end this video um you know appreciate y'all manga artists appreciate y'all uh y'all creators while they are still alive you know we had lost the um the creator of gus uh, not gus um berserk a few years back and uh, also the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh a few years back as well too so you know whether it's uh, Oda or Masashi Kishimoto or the creator of Bleach or Pokemon or whatever you know got you into anime at first cherish them while they're still alive because you just never know what they're going through um you know behind the scenes um and I am just grateful that Dragon Ball Z next to Naruto uh did so much for my childhood saved my life countless amount of times and that uh you know connected me to a web of friends memories that i will never forget so thank you akira toriyama for all the years for all the games for all the shows you will never ever be forgotten your legacy and your impact will always always be remembered so thank you so much for everything rest in peace and that's my experience and my memories with dragon ball and uh the overall franchise so yeah